to Ennis. Fires for three from the corner. Drains the three off the quick release. The ball movement in this game has been phenomenal, forcing a lot of defensive rotations and ultimately a lot of passes leading to direct scores. Simmons, the coach on the floor. Oh, excellent screen. Lavernier puts it up, banks it in. Gorgeous pass from Goran Dragic. I am absolutely on the edge of my seat during this game. The back and forth, the lead changes, every possession, so important to the outcome of the game. Detroit's been playing some consistent basketball right from the opening tip, Jeff. It's the shooting, Mike. They are just knocking it home from the three-point line, making them almost unguardable. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Looks to the post. Simmons, here comes the help. Wide open for three. The jumper from downtown nails it. You give this man time to set his feet, he's going to knock the three-point in time and time again. And now he moves around the defender. He got a piece of it. Goes to the goal. Nice work on the adjustment and banks it home. You need guys who can beat their man off the dribble and finish at the basket. In a rough stretch, let's see if they can break themselves out of it right now. Oh, he shoots it, misses that one. Nice outlet pass, here they come. Fires again, nails it. That's a two-pointer. The Pistons up by nine. And Mike Butenholzer calls a timeout. They've got to figure something out. They can't stop this offense. Outstanding timeout to break the momentum. This run has led to a large lead, and the game is now slipping away. The Hawks get the inbound. Atlanta's got to take advantage of that timeout. They've had their chance to talk it over. Now it's time to get a basket. To the rim. Nice adjustment. Whistle sounds out of bounds, so it'll be Hawks ball. Jeff, we've been treated to some terrific action so far in this game. We're seeing a lot of offensive energy on the floor from both of these teams with terrific ball movement. Help defense there with the switch. He sinks it. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. Simmons setting it up. Who says it's not a contact sport? What a screen. Oh, rejected. Dragic jumper. A long range jumper is off the mark. Takes another one from downtown. Bang, another three. And in their last game, the assist total wasn't where it needed to be. Today, it's a completely different story. Simmons using the screen, looking to get free. Ball comes loose. Finished pass deflected, but they hold on. That's a three-pointer. The defense nowhere near him. And Goran Dragic with the jumper. Puts it in. Can you say too easy? He is sitting there open at the three-point line and knocks it in. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. Oh, a nice runner. Soft touch gets the roll. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Detroit's given a terrific all-around performance. Jeff, what do you like the most? Well, Mike, everything looks great when you shoot the ball like they have. Yeah, there's some problems in their game, but they're all masked and camouflaged because of the great jump shooting. X 
excellent defense to force the turnover. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Misfires. Lavergne for two, shoots away. Green set nicely. Let's it go. It's good. A two-pointer. Atlanta's down by two. Listen, Mike, they didn't have a lot of assists in the last game. And sometimes we can say, well, they didn't pass the ball. Sometimes you have to make shots. You could be passing the ball well, and you miss the shot. Well, today they're passing the ball well, and they're making. That's why their assists are way up. For three, the wide open shot. Dragic the rebound. To Ennis. Fires from three point range. Puts it in. He's in rhythm now. Good transition offense is predicated on the ball handler making the right decision. Here in a tight game, makes a solid decision, which leads to a transition basket. Simmons setting things up. Eleven seconds remaining on the 24. Curling in, Dragic swats that away. Backing his way down in the post. At the rim, couldn't bank it home. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Dragic, and he curls in. Curls in, gets to the rim, gets to two. Lucky roll. There's the pick. Shot clock says 12. Slams it home. It looks simple, but it's hard to execute. Nothing more beautiful than a pick and roll when executed properly. Come off the screen, pass to the roll man, roll man catches, an easy finish at the rim. The runner and a nice finish at the basket. Down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. It's a loose ball. Oh, that pass way off the mark. And looks like we have a little player shuffling going on here. And Evan Turner will get the inbound. Not a lot of time for a shot here. That one halfway down before popping out. We're seeing some outstanding defensive work, forcing the offensive team into late shot clock shots, which are very low percentage. Lavergne. Knights looking for the screen to get himself open. Unable to convert from the three-point line. Gets it down low. In the paint. Just rolls in off the rim. What a job they have done. Keeping the ball moving to the open man and creating scoring opportunities for each other.
coach going to make some changes and switch up the matchups. Galloway running the offense. Sweet dish to the basket. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Hey, that's what you got to do late. You got to get the ball in the paint and then finish with strength. Passes out to the perimeter, puts it up from three-point land. Bullock's denied, making a play on the ball. Oh, he goes for the save there and goes out of bounds. Capella's been a beast on the boards today. I just love the way people are bouncing off of him as he goes up and snags the ball in traffic. Tonight, from the corner, a three-pointer. Oh, in and out. Hey, when you're going up against the great shooters in this league, you need to combat that with tenacity and passion. Tremendous defensive possession, forcing the miss against one of the great shooters in our league. To Turner. For two, misses the shot. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. Nice movement around the perimeter. To Turner. They've got to get this off in a hurry. Fires away for two. He rattles it in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, open two-point jump shot. Galloway running the team. Bullock's using the screen, trying to get free. Ten seconds now on the 24. To make her. Time is not on their side. What will they do? Misses at the rim. To allow a team back in the game is to take poor shots. Not only do you miss, but it saps your energy defensively. Oh, excellent screen. Pass intercepted. Nice pass from deep in the corner. Drains the three on the catch and shoot from Brandon Knight. The transition three-point jump shot is one of the hardest to defend in the NBA because transition defenses have been taught to protect the paint first. You might ask, why are you settling for a three? It's not a settle. That's a great look for him. He's a knockdown three-point shooter. Maker. Bullock's looking to get free off the screen. Bullock for two, lets it go, nails it. That type of defense where you give an uncontested two-point jimmy up will lead you to defeat. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. To Turner. He puts it up. Jumper won't go. Tonight. He shoots, just won't go from point blank range. Fires it back out to the perimeter. Ball comes loose. They tip it and get the turnover. Turner, shot is blocked. To Maker, swarming defense, yet still puts up the three. At the buzzer. Oh, no good. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after a short break. Fourth quarter set to begin. Boy, this one is anybody's game right now, Jeff. I'm here sitting and I'm nervous. 
It is such a hotly contested game. One play could make the difference between winning and losing. Let's see which players can withstand this type of heat and pressure. Seconds remaining on the shot clock. Let's it go. And that's his fifth rebound of the game. To Bullock. The perfect dish to the rim. Nice soft touch. I like post players who've got not only will, but got skill as well. Here you're seeing the skill on the back down, backs down, and finishes right around the basket area. Oh, the quick release. And Evan Turner with a nice shot for two. Knight directing traffic. Looking to curl in. Knight fires away from downtown. And Brandon Knight with a nice look from three-point range. He scored four three-pointers in this game. Excellent balance. Beautiful release. Knocked it in. Quick feedback. To the basket, flips it up, knocks it down. Atlanta's down by six. Hey, your first priority as a defense is to force them to shoot jump shots. When there's a drive, there's got to be help and make them kick the ball out to the perimeter and then close out. To Bullock. For the layup, no go off the backboard. That was a beautiful switch of hands right there, but he just missed it at the basket. Knocks it down, four point game. Here's the switch. Oh, nice fake. Thrown away. Tremendous denial on that shot. He curls, beats his man. On the drive. Can't get it to go from close range. You got to figure out how you can get a better quality shot and use your greatness to attract the second defender and find the open man. Gets it off. He puts it in. Knight setting up the play. Bullock against Turner. Moves around the defender. Strong to the goal. Bullock's try for a backer. Won't go. No paint gain, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Tonight. Sweet entry pass to the rim. Can't connect from close range. Hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. To Turner. To the basket. Gets it to go on the lucky side of the rim. That's just like waving the white flag defensively and escorting them to the rim. Green set nicely into the paint. Throws it up from deep in the corner. Forces up the shot and hits from downtown. Detroit's showing so much confidence with the three-point shot. It's a big reason for their lead. And Atlanta calls timeout here.
and looked like some substitutions going to be made now for the team. Able to pull up, puts it in, one point game. Knight working at the point. Oh, quick move, gets inside. Plenty of time, that's a three-pointer. The jumper from downtown, nails it. Big time corner three right there. Gets it and quickly shoots that three. Good attempt, but just off the mark. Knight, the coach on the floor. Great pass. Dragic finds the one, knocks it down. That's just big time offensive basketball in the NBA. Searching the open man out, hitting him on time and on target, and then finally capitalizing by making the shot. Here's the screen from beyond the arc. That one in and out. Knight setting it up. The shot clock down at 12 seconds remaining. Unable to convert from the three-point line. Puts it up, deep corner shot. Can't hit from downtown. Tonight, excellent ball movement around the perimeter. And now he moves around the defender. Oh, there's that Euro step move, pretty. Lazy pass and a turnover. To Dragic, fires for three from the corner. Can't get it to go. The lead still under double figures. Inside, the shot is blocked. Oh, wow, great timing on that block. And they call timeout, ask for a full. What's the thinking here? Listen, sometimes a full timeout is used just to try to get your best players some rest. You may not have any technical adjustments. You may not have any set plays you want to go to, but it's just to get your team some rest so you don't have to substitute. Sometimes those bench players stink, and you don't want to use them. You don't want to use them, so you just want to get your best players some rest. Looks like the coach is going to make some changes. Yep, hitting them some substitutions. Passes it right back. To Ennis. Down to seven seconds on the shot clock. A good look for two. In and out. We're seeing some outstanding defensive work. Forcing the offensive team into late shot clock shots, which are very low percentage. 11 seconds remaining on the 24. For two, Atlanta's five for eight from the free throw line. Whistle blows, it's a foul. Joffrey Lavernier picks up his third personal. First free throw, good.
And he makes them both. Simmons setting things up. Oh, excellent screen. Inside! Detroit shooting 71% from the line tonight. No question. Yep, that's a foul called against the Hawks. That's their first team foul. No easy baskets, particularly for bad free throw shooters. That's a good foul, smart foul. First free throw, perfect. Able to convert on both free throws. And the defense switches. Here's the pick. Eight seconds now on the 24. Pulls up from beyond the arc. Doesn't get the roll. To Ennis. From the corner, a three-pointer. And throws up an air ball. Great look. Puts it home with a slam. Execution. Solid screen. Good fundamental pass. Catch it. Finish. To Dragic. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Shot clock down to two. That's from downtown. Inside to the basket. Unable to flip it in. Paint shots will kill you down the stretch of close games. Let's it go. Gets it to go. Three point game. Simmons running the offense. Shot clock down to seven seconds remaining. Sets up the J nicely with the step back. Great offensive rebound. To Dragic for three. Bang! Now that's perfect right there. You're watching a great shooter like a great artist go to work. Beautiful form, finish, and follow through. inside misses at the rim they're just lucky right there that's not good defense they got to make it more difficult to get the ball at the basket and Atlanta's called for the foul their second team foul hey you can't allow easy baskets you've got to foul these bad free throw shooters put them to the line and see if they can earn their points at the charity strike Missed the first one. Oh, he misses them both. Heading down the final stretch, it's crunch time. move inside and he puts it down hey you're down going down the stretch of a close game attack the basket put pressure on the defense you're either gonna get a layup or get fouled good job finishing at the rim screen set nicely to Ennis 
The shot clock shows 10 seconds left. Oh, a devastating screen. Looking for low post position. From three-point land. Unable to convert from the three-point line. Puts it up for two. Ooh, misses the inside shot. He puts it in. Clutch shot. And Atlanta calls timeout. Very little time remaining here on the fourth. When you're in a two-possession game, you don't really need to do anything special to get back in it. All you need to do is execute out of the timeout, get a score, and then have your defense lock in and lock down, get a stop, and then get out on the break. To the rim. And he'll head to the line to shoot two. And he's fouled. Joffrey Lavernier picks up his fourth personal of the game. You want to get easy baskets, but when they foul you, if it's one of your best free throw shooters, that's still good percentage basketball play. Get your better free throw shooters to the line down the stretch of a close game. And he hits the first free throw. Both free throws perfect. They've now cut it to a four-point deficit. Simmons attacks the basket. Just won't go for a point-blank range. There's the whistle. They had to stop the clock, so they give the foul. When you're down in the fourth quarter of a close game and you get fouled, you would hope that one of your best free throw shooters would be going to the line. Here, though, one of the worst free throw shooters on the team is going to the line. So you have to ask yourself, why is this guy even in the game at this point? Nice job at the line. They're now up six. Time running out here in the fourth. There's a timeout. The strategy is simple right now. You come out of the timeout, you execute, you get a score. And then you have to trust your defense. No unnecessary fouls, just get another stop. And then go out in transition, get out on the break. Oh, excellent screen. Puts it up. It's good. Four point game. Get him for the foul. He had to do it and stop the clock. With about a half a minute to go, and you're up four, if you make both of these free throws, it totally alters your defensive strategy. You can just protect the three-point line because, really, the two-point shot won't hurt you. Nice job at the line. They're now up six. Good switching on defense. Nice move into the paint. Gets to the rim. Won't drop off the glass. Final score is 111 to 105. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching.
the Pistons took this down to the wire before getting the win. And of course, I've got to mention how many times they scored from beyond the arc. They were so confident with the three ball, and it was instrumental to their success. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Detroit Pistons. The Hawks finished on the losing end of a close score. And while they didn't win the game, they could have won a dunk contest. They put down plenty of slams in this matchup. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Atlanta Hawks. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Simmons played the role of facilitator today, and no one is more happy than his teammates. And here we have a look at his stat line. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Time now for the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.